Hello you guys. Today I'm going to be explaining how to get from this to this in six easy steps, starting with values. So the way I begin is after I sketch and lay down some basic rendering, some colors, I like to take my drawing from that point and lower the saturation towards just solid black and white. That way I can look at the image and see where the values are just blending too much. It's just there's not a lot of dark against the light. The way that I do it here is I open a new layer, I set it to linear burn, and I select that specific color that I'm working with, and it automatically turns it into a darker shade. You can also lower the opacity if it's too dark. The main areas that I'm doing this is the spots where I really want to show a lot of dimension. So for example, like under her hair strands, um, under her chin, that large shadow behind Rilakkuma. So I'm pretty much going to do this for the entire drawing. I'm just going to darken all the spots that look flat and dull. And I'm just going to make them look like, very dark. and So that way it helps the other parts of the drawings stand out better. So now seeing them side by side again, both in black and white, you'll see where the areas pop way more. And it gives the drawing a lot more dimension. Alright, so the next step is complementary colors. Complementary colors are the colors opposite from each other in the color wheel. So using colors that go well with each other can really make your drawing pop a lot more, whereas non-complementary colors such as these can make your drawings just ugly, I guess. But I mean, I guess with the right uh, technique and skill, you can still make a drawing out of these colors. So finding a complementary color against the character as a background is a great way to make the character itself pop out more. In this case, I feel like an orange or a pink would work. So the next step to take to really make your art pop is determining a light source. Although I already created some basic shading, you still can't really see where the light is hitting the character. So here's an example of how I achieve that intense lighting for my drawing. I duplicate the layer of that silhouette, I fill it in with a color that would best match the environment, although that, you know, is your choice, and after filling it in, I set that layer to multiply, and at this point, you can mess with how dark you want your lighting to be. Here I'm gonna make it kind of like a medium light. After that, you're gonna grab an eraser um, of your choice after determining the light source. I'm just going to erase only those spots in that same layer. You can begin to erase only where the light is going to hit strongly. And then you can mess with the opacity again and blend out some of the harder edges. So that's basically how I get um, the lighting the way that I want it. Next is top layer rendering and details. On a new layer, set to normal, I basically just color pick um, a bunch of colors that are already there, like on the hair strands, I extend the hair strands. I also um, add complementary colors to the eyes so that they pop out more. I also use this time to add subsurface scattering to her face and the bear. It's also a, a good way to uh, just clean up the drawing so that it gives it a more finished look. I didn't film the part where I did the line work, but I also take the time to do that in this part as well. The next and best step is highlights. When I apply highlights, I like to place them in the direction that the sun is hitting, since that makes the most sense. I do use pure white. You can go a little bit darker, especially depending on the environment and also depending on the skin tone. I pretty much like to apply the highlight all over the drawing because I like to go for that jelly look and like I like to make the whole thing look shiny. So once the entire drawing basically looks edible, it's time for color balance. I like this as my last step because it gives me the option to really look at the different colorways that this drawing could go, whether it's more cool toned or warm toned. 
of focusing on certain colors in the drawing i think it just gives it like a more like finished look instead of going back and changing certain things you can just change the whole mood of the drawing with color balance you can also use hue and saturation to mess with the brightness and the saturation of the color as well thanks so much for watching to the end i hope you found this video useful okay bye